Welcome to our quick tip of the day. Today we are talking about distracted driving. Distracted driving is a problem for commercial insurance as well as personal insurance across the board. So distracted driving is any time that you are impaired during the process of being able to operate a vehicle. Okay, and what that means for you is that, that could be visual distraction, manual distraction, or cognitive distraction. Okay, visual distraction might be something that you are specifically looking at, like your cell phone. Those are those are what people think about when they are thinking about um, distracted driving, right? It might be something on the side of the road, right? Like a rubberneckers, right? All that other good stuff. It might be looking at something on a billboard or something around in your arena, right? Maybe it might be a distraction of your um, uh, display on your, on your, on your, uh, car, right? Like a nav or something like that. Those are what we call visual distractions. Okay. Then there are manual distractions and that's things that you're physically doing. It might be eating. It might be something like, um, helping your kid in the back seat, right? We've all been there. Those are what we call manual distractions. And then cognitive distractions are those times where we just kind of either space out or think about something else. We've done this trip a million times, maybe to work or something like that. And then all of a sudden we're mind mentally somewhere else and we're paying attention to the things going on around us. It might have to be a conversation that we're having with someone else in the vehicle, or it might also be talking on the phone directly like through Bluetooth or something. And that's called a cognitive distraction. We have been seeing distraction, distractive driving really, really increase over the course of the last five to eight years. But in that, we're not only seeing the fact that fender bitters are increasing due to distracted driving, we're also seeing much more severe accidents. And that would be deaths, people just plowing into something or someone else on the street, those types of things. And they are very much increasing the financial uh, payout of insurance claims. So maybe that would be medical care that's needed or required due to them. It's also the amount of damage to a vehicle um, and the severity of the combination of, say, loss of work or those types of things. So distracted driving is truly one of the key factors in an insurance premium across the board, okay? There are other areas in different areas of the country that are trying to dist reduce distracted driving by uh, giving tickets for texting while driving or being on the phone while driving or using your device while driving. So if you live in one of those areas, make sure that you do pay attention to that. But do also note that if you are in a school zone, that if you are using your device, any type of ticket that you get I think it automatically doubles so in price. So taken into consideration, especially in school zones, high risk areas, do not use any of these types of distracted driving uh, techniques, the manual, cognitive or visual type things. Be very conscious of not engaging in those activities, but also make sure just across the board, we're safer drivers. We don't end up doing things while we're driving that we don't need to be doing. Save it for whenever you arrive, wherever it is that you're going. We want to make sure you arrive where you're going safely because we love you. All right. If you have any questions regarding your insurance needs, give us a call. We're always here, commercial or personal insurance. We would love to be able to answer all your insurance questions. My name is Teresa Kitchens. Thanks for watching.